to skincare with ashley where i help you perfect your skincare needs if you like my video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in seeing more of my content make sure you subscribe so today i'm actually going to be doing a review on three body shop face masks which is really exciting for me because if you don't know already i'm just a little bit obsessed with face masks so first of all let's just tell you a little bit about the body shop the body shop's actually a cruelty free brand which means that none of their products are tested on animals and a lot of their products are actually vegan formulas um so these three face masks that i'm going to be talking about are actually vegan so if you want to know my thoughts make sure you stick around and at the end i will actually tell you which one is my favorite the first face mask i'm actually going to talk about is their nicaraguan coffee face mask and this is what it looks like it's a little bit like a i don't know if you know what marmite is a little bit like a marmite kind of consistency quite sticky quite thick but i have to say it does feel actually really good when you put it on your skin coffee is actually a great ingredient for your skin because it's um, got the ability to move your skin and just give you a healthier looking skin um, a bit of a glow it's also rich in antioxidants and it can help with moisture retention as well this face mask has actually got some great ingredients in it glycerin is the first ingredient which is actually a humectant so it means that it'll help retract moisture into your skin it's also got some great emollients in as well so that'll help to moisturize your skin fantastic plant extracts as well so using this face mask it, it's just nice it makes my skin feel smooth it just makes my skin soft and glowy it does have little exfoliating particles and um, well actually it's coffee in it and um, when you rub it it just gives you a gentle exfoliation um, so i think overall fantastic i love using it to be honest it does say um intense awakening mask so it's for the morning well it says awakening so i guess if you want your face to just like you know have a natural glow in the morning just to have a little bit of oomph then um that's that's a great time to use these i don't think it's you know necessarily a morning product i do use it in the morning so overall really good i have to say the first time i actually used it i was a little bit worried because it's it's kind of like leaves like when you put it on it's feels kind of i don't know how to describe it i want to say like oily or a bit like there's oil in it so i was a little bit like oh is that going to you know leave any residue once i rinse it off usually if i use oil a lot of oily products i am um, i can suffer with some acne but i tell you what once you rinse it off it just leaves your skin nice and refreshed um it, you know it's had that little bit of exfoliation so it's very smooth it feels extremely moisturized and you know you can definitely tell that you've put a face mask on i just think it it, fe it makes me feel really good the smell is amazing to be honest it, it it's like got a really strong smell of coffee so if you're not interested in coffee maybe you might find it a little bit bothering but i love coffee anyway i love the smell of coffee and I, when i put this on I, honestly quite honestly i could i feel like eating it i honestly feel like eating it that's how good it smells i just think it leaves my skin really nice um you know i, I don't know if i know i know other people have said that you know they can see the glow in their skin i don't see that much of a you know of a glow it's more of the feeling it just makes me feel you know makes my skin feel really good it makes me feel really nice and i find myself wanting to reach for it a lot so you know i just think overall fantastic so the next mask i'm going to talk about is the japanese matcha tea pollution clearing mask now matcha tea is actually a form of green tea i'll show you what the mask looks like it's green and it's like um i don't know if you know what the consistency of guacamole is but it's a little bit like that you put it on your face um and it you know it, a lot of it really does absorb this has got very very fine like very light exfoliating particles um 
I'm not quite sure what that actually is but when you put it on your face it's like a like I say like that sort of consistency but the majority of it actually absorbs into your skin and then you're just left with the like little bits of like exfoliating bits on your skin and I'll tell you what I don't know if I can vouch for the actual pollution clearing because I'm not sure how you you know going to test that but I just this mask is just amazing it makes my skin really soft and smooth and refreshed and honestly anything positive that you can think about it feels like this mask has got it seriously it's moisturizing it's smoothing it's soothing um like it's, you know even a little bit exfoliating and to be honest i have a little bit of an obsession with um things with green tea in I don't know what it is about the green tea, but I, I, any time I use anything with green tea, I just seem to, you know, love it. Now, green tea is an absolute fantastic ingredient because it's rich in antioxidants, it's soothing, and it's great for anti-aging as well. The face mask actually contains a fatty alcohol as well. So I know a lot of people are worried a little bit about alcohol in their skin products, but this is a fantastic alcohol. It's also got glycerin as, in as well. It's got shea butter, which is a great ingredient. It helps to moisturize your skin. It can also have the benefits of, um, you know, helping support the repair of your skin barrier. And it's got aloe vera in as well, which is a very soothing ingredient, an anti-inflammatory ingredient as well. So, you know, helps to calm down your skin. And any time I use that matcha tea face mask, honestly, I, I, I'm just, I just love how my skin feels. Afterwards, I just want to constantly be touching my skin all the time. And the final face mask that I'm going to talk about is the Hemp Overnight Rescue Mask. Now this is, that's what it looks like. As you can see, I've got a lot of this. I got these three all at the same time. Um, but this, I don't feel like you need a lot when you use it. It's um, like a moisturiser, like a thick moisturiser. That's what the consistency is like. Um, they actually say, with all these masks, they say put on and leave for 5 to 10 minutes before taking off. This one actually says you put a thick thick amount on leave it five to ten minutes and then rub off the excess and then leave the rest on overnight i'm not quite sure why you need to put a thick layer on and then rub it off i don't know is that so that you use more product and then you buy it more often i don't know i don't see the the purpose of doing that um the first time i used it i actually did that and i thought no i'm not gonna bother with that now this is another great mask as well so it's got hemp seed oil in it and hemp seed oils from the hemp plant it's rich in fatty acids and amino acids which is great for your skin it helps to um, replenish your skin and also helps with the aid of um, creating more skin cells great for anyone who's got a compromised skin barrier it's very moisturising with the fatty and the amino acids. It just supports your skin barrier for a healthier, younger looking skin, a healthier glow, smoother skin, strengthening the skin barrier. So there's a lot of great benefits from hemp seed oil. So it's also got vitamin E in this product as well. It's got aloe vera, which is soothing. And it's got plant extracts as well. Overall, very good ingredients in this mask as well. Because my skin is quite oily anyway, it's not particularly dry a lot of the time, unless I've been using a lot of products that have made it dry. So I think in those specific instances, then I probably would see the benefit of using it overnight. But I actually prefer, I've tried it overnight and um, I've used, used it in the day as well. But I, what I actually prefer to do is once I've come in, and I know I'm not going to be going out for the rest of the evening, I actually like to wash my face and, um, you know, if I've got makeup on, get my makeup off, um, cleanse my face, and then I'll put this mask on, and I'll just leave it on for a few hours, well, till soon before I go to bed, and I'll just rinse it off, and then, you know, put my moisturiser and whatever, my toner and my moisturiser on, 
so that's how i prefer to use it because i find that um if it's quite thick it's extremely mo it is it's extremely moisturizing once you take it off you'll definitely notice that you've had something on your skin it's a lot more moisturizing than your your lotions and stuff because it'll actually leave, leave like a a layer on your skin i suppose if you've got really dry skin you might not notice that it's left a, like a film on your skin but it does leave, leave like a like a barrier to hold the moisture into your skin i just think when i use it i definitely feel that you know my skin's definitely a lot more moisturized it just feels nicer smoother overall really good i do think it's better product for those of you who've got dry skin um, but I think anyone can benefit from this you, you know you don't have to leave it on for the entire night or even if you did leave it on for the entire night I think just a tiny tiny bit you need seriously I wouldn't even put as much as you know putting a moisturizer on I just put a tiny bit just leave it on honestly it, it, it's it's really really good so um there is one thing that I'm not too much about this though the other two masks I think smell absolutely fantastic but this smell it's such a strong smell it's oh I don't know I'm not much for the smell which is also one reason why I'd rather not have it on when I go to bed at night because I don't know I just like to feel like really luxurious really lovely when I'm going to bed at night um, smell really nice so I, I, I prefer myself to leave it on in the day um, maybe you know three four hours whatever leave it on a few hours and then just rinse it off but other than that i do think you know it, it's really good the, the smell if you're not you know if smells don't bother you that much i don't think you'll have a problem with it anyway maybe there are some people that are going to like the smell now i'm just going to talk about um which one's my favorite and which one's my least favorite and let you know why so my favorite I don't know if you can guess, but my favourite, honestly, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I could use it every day, even though it says two to three times a week. I literally could use it every day. And I know for a fact, once it's gone, I'm going to like literally just run out and get it like pretty much straight away. And that is the Matcha Tea Face Mask. I don't know what this does to me. I don't know. Is it green tea that's just got me so addicted to it or or what is it or is it just the mask itself i don't know but this honestly it just makes me feel so good i feel like kind of like giddy even thinking about using it before i even use it i'm like oh my god i'm gonna use the mask i'm gonna use the mask so good so nice so that one's definitely hands down my favorite um no i don't know oh it's a tough one this it's really it's really a tough one for me myself just just for me my next favorite is the coffee mask just because i you know i i just think it smells absolutely gorgeous it makes me feel good i love using it in the morning it's got a little bit of exfoliating to it and i think my skin just actually needs it it feels like it needs it and i know i've said like it feels like kind of like oily and stuff but once you wash it off there's literally literally no film on your face literally nothing that you can feel or no stickiness no nothing like that it just feels so moisturized so smooth so you know lovely feeling and lovely looking and with the smell literally I, I, you can't even go wrong you can't even go wrong at all now um this hemp mask i do love it i do love it i think it's got a place for my skincare so I, I definitely think it's you know something that is great for me to have with you know as part of my skincare ritual or routine whatever you want to call it um, I just don't find myself wanting to use it as often just because my skin doesn't need it as much but I definitely definitely think if you've got you know a bit of a damaged skin barrier or if you've got very dry skin I definitely think you'll be obsessed with this face mask as long as you don't mind the smell you will be obsessed with this face mask honestly because seriously I used a lot of you know moisturizing and nourishing face masks before um, 
and I don't know if I've felt one that feels quite as good as this. So I definitely think it's fantastic. I think you've got, you know, the damaged skin barrier. It can help to replenish that and just, you know, have some great benefits, especially the fact that it's rich in fatty acids and amino acids. That's really something that you want when you've got a compromised skin barrier. There is one thing, though. It, the All of these, they do have fragrance. So... I don't know if fragrance is going to be the best option for you if you have got a um, really bad skin barrier but for the you know if, if you've just got dry skin and you haven't got any sensitivities to fragrance 100% 100% give that a go so overall I think they're all great they're all fantastic I do love the body shop products anyway I've, I've used face masks from the body shop in the past and I've always you know found them very nice and they actually do what it is that they're actually stating to do although this one says intense awakening mask and i don't know i don't know what they mean by intense awakening mask the matcha tea one which is a pollution clearing mask i don't literally physically see the pollution clearing in my face but you can just tell that it, your skin does feel like extra clean your skin feels smooth and soothed and just nice so I think all three absolutely fantastic so that's it for my review I hope you've enjoyed it I certainly know I've enjoyed it I think I will be using one of these face masks tonight I might go all out and use two three of them I don't know I can't use three of them in one go it's a bit it's a bit crazy isn't it well oh well i hope you've found this video useful and you've enjoyed it if you have make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in seeing more of my content please subscribe and until next time keep looking after your skin